Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far In the darkest days Don't know where we are Or who we are Yeah, we came too far Hey, uh, what up, y'all? Free School Avengers and Big Star HH News. This is a messed up story of a five-year-old in elementary school that had to be registered as a sex offender. Yep, a five-year-old registered sex offender. Now, this is my thing. How do you keep a five-year-old sex a registered sex offender with autism? away from other kids do he get a tutor from now on for the rest of his life online schooling let me know how do you teach a registered five-year-old sex offender with autism because these are the questions that have to be answered and you'll never believe what he basically had to register for what crime could a five-year-old commit to get him put on a sex registry I'm not going to ruin that for you. If you want to see what he got arrested for, just hearing that he got arrested and had to register as a sex offender was enough for me. But if you do want to find out what he was charged with and why your jaw will drop, click the link in the description. What you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, visit my community wall. And if you have time, go to www.amore-shika.com backslash TV. That's our plan of the phase two. We are the new umbrella. Title one of the Adam Walsh Child Protection and Safety Act of 2006 is referred to as SORTA, or Sex Offender Registration and Notification Act. SORTA of provides a comprehensive set of minimum standards for sex offender registration and notification in the United States. SORTA of aims to close potential gaps or loopholes that existed under prior law and to generally strengthen the network of sex offender registration and notification programs. Additionally, SORTA of makes changes to the required minimum duration for which sex offenders must register, as well as increase the amount of information available to the general public about sex offenders. SORTA of requires sex offenders to make periodic in-person appearances to verify and update their registration information. It also requires sex offenders to provide more extensive uh, registration information. SORTA of requires sex offenders to register and keep their registration current in each jurisdiction in which they reside, uh, work, or go to school. It also incorporates a more comprehensive group of sex offenders and sex offenses for which registration is required. Beyond that, SORNA also expands the jurisdiction of, of sex offender registration beyond the 50 states, the District of Columbia, and the principal U.S. territories to include federally recognized Indian tribes. Planet of the Fakes for Kids and Pig Star H H News he doesn't understand, five-year-old autistic boy, registered as sex offender, for hugging one classmate and kissing another on the cheek. A five-year-old autistic boy has been branded a sex offender, for hugging a classmate and kissing another on the cheek. Nathan's devastated family say a teacher accused him of sexual activities, at East Ridge Elementary in Tennessee. Five-year-old Nathan, who has autism, was reported to child services for hugging and kissing a classmate. Five-year-old Nathan, who has autism, was reported to child services for hugging and kissing a classmate. His school said it had had to speak with him about boundaries before. His school said it had had to speak with him about boundaries before. They claim they were told Nathan has been labeled a sex predator and will have it on his record forever. His guardian, Summary Putnam, said she received a call from the school near the start of September that made her sick to her stomach. She told, first of all, I didn't understand. He's a five-year-old, he's a child. The teacher called me. She said, you need to have a talk with Nathan about boundaries. Ms. Putnam said the teacher also accused her son of sexual activities. Record for life. If you don't understand how autism works, you'd think he's acting out or being defiant, but that's not the situation, Putnam said. I talked to him. I said, you can't hug children. Single quote. He said, why? I said, because, Nathan, it's not allowed. To bring something like this against a child, a special needs child, that really doesn't understand what he's done wrong. Nathan's grandmother Debbie Amick pleaded for help on Facebook. 
She wrote, What do you do when a year child is being labeled a sexual predator and accused of sexual harassment by the school system? It was disclosed that it will go in his record for the rest of his life that he is a sex offender. This child is autistic, he comprehends and functions very different than your typical five-year. Who do you turn to for help when the school will not even listen to the child's doctor when he explains the child's difficulties and his comprehension of simple things such as boundaries? If anyone can offer advice or help please do. She said the school claimed to have had to speak with Nathan on several previous occasions. Tim Hensley of the Hamilton County Department of Education said, school personnel are required to raise concerns regarding children to the Department of C. Hilled Services. It's up to DCS to determine if those reports are acted on by DCS and what form those actions may take. Ms. Putnam confirmed that Nathan had now been moved to a different class with a different teacher, and that he is receiving special educational services. Nathan's grandmother criticized the decision on Facebook. Nathan's grandmother criticized the decision on Facebook. Nathan's guardian, Summary Putnam, said his teachers needed to better understand the nature of autism. Nathan's guardian, Summary Putnam, said his teachers needed to better understand the nature of autism. Nathan has now been moved to a different class and is receiving extra support. Nathan has now been moved to a different class and is receiving extra support. Full video link in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow, hit the bell, and, if you, get time, go to www.amor.com sick to my stomach because first of all I didn't understand you know he's a five-year-old he's a child summary Putnam says she received a call from her son's teacher at East Ridge Elementary about two weeks ago the teacher called me and she said you need to have a talk with Nathan about boundaries if you don't understand how autism works you think he's acting out or being defiant but that's not the situation. Putnam says the teacher said Nathan was overstepping boundaries. She says the teacher accused her son of sexual activities after she was told he hugged a child and kissed another child on the cheek. Talked to him. Said you can't hug children. He said, why? I said, because Nathan, it's not allowed. The family thinks the school is in the wrong. To bring something like this against a child, a special needs child that really doesn't understand what he's done wrong. Hey, what up, y'all? Planet of the Fix here. 2020's coming. Brand new everything. I got a brand new Instagram. Make sure you follow it. Planet of underscore the fakes. And hey, Planet of the Fakes back again. This is just a reminder. If you have any problems accessing the videos at our site, www.more-eka.com backslash TV, more than likely it's because you're on a cell phone or tablet. All you have to do is at the top of the browser on the right hand, it's normally three dots, you hit them, this menu comes down, hit desktop site. You have to switch from mobile view to desktop view and all the videos will pop right up for you. Any other problems, just hit us up at support at amore-eka.com. Thanks again for supporting. All right, Planet of the Fakes here. I'd like to thank you for watching our video, but I also would like to remind you to please subscribe to our other pages. YouTube Streets, Planet of the Fakes Kids, I'm Just Nosy, Kanika Jenkins, 36 Hours, POTFS, Planet of the Kings, POTFS Battle Zone, Planet of the Fakes Extraordinary, Planet of the Fakes for Pets, Umbrella, POTFS, Planet of the Fakes, Planet of the Fakes for Families, Pigstar HH News, Planet of the Fakes.